Christmas 2021, everybody. Can you believe it? I want to welcome you to the McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tours Holiday Experience presented by McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Movement. I'm your host, it's me, baby, Lonnie Hunter. And after this year's marvelous, inspirational, uplifting four-stop virtual tour, we are all ready to relax into the holiday. Huh? So how about we get some warm hot chocolate, keep an eye on that beautiful storm outside, and uh, how about we engage in a little bit of holiday storytelling? <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas, and you know the drill. The whole house is sleeping and silent and still. But something is telling me here before long, the whole house is gonna be filled up with song. For now though, we wait and reflect on the night when a star in the east began shining bright and soon the whole world would be blessed by its light. I'd like to point out in this calm, quiet pause that we're raising awareness and funds for a cause that depends more on you than on old Santa Claus. Your Ronald McDonald House Charities donations helps families of hospitalized kids across the nation. Feel free to give now if you feel so inclined or plan to give later. There'll be a reminder. See what I did there? <laughs> Gospel has roots that are deep down and olden. McDonald's is proud of these events we've been holding. They are powered by the movement that is black and positively golden. And part of my duties as the official narrator is to tell you before it gets any later of a holiday greeting from this McDonald's owner operator. Hello and happy holidays from Houston. I hope you are all safe and well during this time and having a fantastic time so far. We are so excited to celebrate McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour Holiday Experience. My name is Stephanie Oliver Parrish and I'm a McDonald's owner operator here in the greater Houston area along with my daughter Chelsea and her husband Jonathan. Hello everybody, I'm proud to be a third generation McDonald's owner operator. It's very special to me to be able to learn from my mom and be a part of the family business that my grandfather, Carol Oliver, started. Together our family operates eight McDonald's restaurants across Houston. So on behalf of our family and our local Ronald McDonald House Charities in Houston, welcome. McDonald's is committed to uplifting communities through education, empowerment, and entrepreneurship and the Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour is one example of our commitment. Here locally, we're also making sure that children in our community have access to food and school supplies during our partnership with Kids Meals. We appreciate your support of the Houston McDonald's family over the years, and I cannot stress enough how happy we are that you're here to enjoy what will be an amazing spirit-filled concert to ring in the holidays, brought to you by McDonald's. Now sit back, relax, and let's continue to have a great time. Thank, Thank you. you! Thanks a million. Now, let's settle in, quiet and nice. Not a creature is stirring, not even the mice. You enjoy some cinnamon spice that's warm and I'll sit here and gaze at this fierce winter storm. <laughs> fierce winter storm. And just chill on the night that our savior is born. But wait, do I hear something clattering outside? Could it be we have visitors? Has someone arrived? We do, Christmas carolers a holiday crowd, and it looks like the house is about to get loud. All right, let's do Joseph and Mary's son proud. Whoa, oh, there it is. Listen, if you know you got favor on your life, the hand of God is on you. I need you to put your hands together. Oh, come on, yeah. It's the big devil's inspiration, celebration, of gospel tour. We gonna have a good time. I need you to rock with you for the get home.
When I think of Christmas spirit, I think of family and joy and the love of God that he would send his son to earth and sharing in gifts and gifts and gifts. Family, love, happiness, excitement, and just fun all around. I, I think that's what I get when I hear that. For me, when I hear the phrase Christmas spirit, I think about a giving and, a, and abundance. You know, it's coming right behind Thanksgiving, so we spent that time being thankful and uh, taking an inventory of what we have to be thankful for. And uh, normally you can see some things that you have where you can give and help others to be thankful. And so that's the Christmas spirit to me. I vividly remember uh, being at the beauty salon and listening to How Could You Forget the Baby by Nikita. Uh, yeah. And my mom used to make me sing that song all the time, so now I cannot think about Christmas without remembering the Christ in Christmas, Jesus. the baby, Jesus. The, Jesus. the little baby. First thing I think of is family, definitely. How we all get together, how uh, Christmas for us is pretty much every day, but we really get a chance to go all out. For me, uh, it's, it's about family, the time of love, because we always come together. Uh, my family's been a tradition, coming together, uh, good food, uh, great memories, great times, getting together with members that I probably hadn't seen sometime in a whole year, so um, that, that's really what it means to me. With everything that's been going on, I think this is important. It has to be said. Listen. All of my life, one thing hasn't changed. Yes. In my lowest moments, In your arms. In your arms, I'll be made. Tell me who. Who can I trust? I've been lied to so much. If not for your grace. I know. I know that. Can we testify? So right now, so I make this confession about you. I can't say this about nobody else, but you have never, never, no, never here it is. Said you never let me down. Never let me down, Father. Yeah. Said you never let me down. You never let me down. You have. You have. You have. Never. Never let me down. You've always been there. You're faithful, God. You never said you never let me down. And if I'm being honest, I gotta testify, let somebody know that I couldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't have survived. God, my life, I understand that I couldn't. My life would be a mess, y'all. So testify.
let me down. You never 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 let me down. Thank you, James Fortune. Thank you for spreading that cheer. So glad you had time to come around here. And what's this? More carolers. Celebration is on. A new group shows up when the first one is gone. Good evening. I wonder if you mind us telling a story about two years. We about to have a little church. Can we do it like Mama used to do it? Put your hands together and help us sing this song. We'll
I think it's important for a brand like McDonald's to spread hope and inspiration during the holidays because it really shows that they that they care. Uh, it's important that it's a need that needs to be, and they're not just a restaurant. It's like, look, we care about the people. Most everyday people, they eat McDonald's. You know, they at McDonald's, we chillin' at McDonald's, let's post up at McDonald's, pull up to people. McDonald's. You know, whatever, you know, you may feel. Um, I feel like it's, since I've been a kid, a family-friendly place, and I feel like for the holidays especially, a lot of people need to feel that um, closeness they need to feel that family and they need to feel that familiarity. Everybody eats at McDonald's, right? <laughs> so if you haven't eaten there, then I think, but I think it's to, to let people know that companies like that um, are not just getting our money, um, that they are giving back. McDonald's has always been about connecting us around the food, around the spaces that they provide to eat this food. Give back, man. It makes sense to me. In our communities and all around the world, McDonald's is one of those beacons that you look to and you're like, oh, the best fries in the world. I still like a McDonald's fry, I'm just gonna say. But um, not just the food, but it's always been about giving back to others and their commitment. They've shown their commitment by what they've done uh, with this tour and spreading the gospel and allowing our art form to shine in a first class spectacular way. So I'm honored to be a part of it and to be a part of the McDonald's brand. Fuck!
change that. I will be satisfied with you. Hey, yeah. Lord, I will be satisfied Ooh, with you. I don't need anything else because I'm happy with you and you won't Wonderful. 
glad you stopped by to lift up your voices like angels on high. To anyone listening, what did you think of that? Was that not awesome? Hit us up in the chat. Let us know what you're wishing. What's all on your mind? What gifts do you want for yourself or for mankind? Do you wish we could leave wars alone and hunger behind? That's definitely on Brian Courtney Wilson's mind. A world where men are free someday at Christmas time. Someday at Christmas, men won't be boys Playing with bombs like kids play with toys One warm December, our hearts will see A world where men are free Thankfully, 
it's hard for me to keep feeling this way when I consider who is on my side. The Lord is my help, walking with me every step I need to take on the desperate days and the long dark nights. Oh, He never sleeps. Thank you, Father. And when I remember, He brings me peace. This time. The mountain has to move, the mountain must obey the words that I speak and bow down to my faith because I've got work to do and I'm gonna see it through. God showed me the way and I'm choosing it today. The mountain has to move. The mountain must obey the words that I speak and bow down to my faith because I've got work to do. So much. 
much more Still worth fighting Eyes haven't seen Ears haven't heard All you have planned for me And nothing, no nothing When there's still work And that's why I'm Marks because the calling on my life is worth fighting for, and I keep my mind stayed on my king because the peace it brings is worth fighting for, and I'll be faithful for my wife and children because my family, yes, it's worth. World is not my home, but your kingdom here is worth fighting for. I got a mansion, oh, and glory, and my new home is worth fighting for. Till I see it, I'll shout, Hallelujah, here, cause my praise is worth. Hello everyone, and welcome to McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour Holiday Show. You know, before McDonald's had a drive through it was just a sit-down restaurant in San Bernardino, California. In fact, when it opened, it didn't even serve food fast. What invigorates me is that it all started as just a dream and a 15-cent commodity. Let's be clear about what a dream is. A dream is actually your brain's way of asking you for permission to allow your thoughts to live. So let this moment bear witness to the reality that there is nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, that the human spirit cannot achieve. You too can find your dream. And like McDonald's, it may not come with a drive through or it may start with a relatively inexpensive product. The rest of the ideals will come when you muster up the courage to start. So here's my message to you. Keep fighting for it, whatever it is, until what's in your head gets in your hand. And thank you, Mickey D's, for showing us the way. Amazing. Amazing. Brian Courtney Wilson, thanks to you. And uh, what do you know? Kurt Carr is here too. He's ready to go. Let's not slow down the show. Kurt and his singers all want us to know. Our King of Kings in a manger, quite lowly, is born to us, making this wondrous night holy. I absolutely love Christmas music. From a child, I remember these melodies ringing and ringing and ringing in my ear. And this song is so innocent, it's one of my favorites.
to the people. Send the king to the people everywhere. Listen to what I say. Pray for peace, people. Pray for peace, people everywhere. Listen to what I say. Oh, a child, a child, sleeping in the night, he will bring us goodness and light. He will bring us goodness and light. A child, a child, sleeping in the night, he will bring us goodness and light. He will bring us goodness and light.
and favorites. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. The holiday time is happy and we rejoice, but so many people are sad during this time. We all have to say in the last couple of years, we've had some incredibly difficult times, but we're here tonight because God has kept us. I wrote a song that says, I almost let go, but God held me close so I wouldn't let go. Timothy, sing that for me. I almost let go. Felt like I just couldn't take life anymore. Oh, my problems, they had me bound, and depression weighed weigh me down. But God. Close. So I wouldn't let go. So I would let go. God's mercy. Hey, yeah. God's mercy kept me. So I wouldn't let go. So I would let go. Close the bell, sing that so I'm here today. So particular time just a few months ago I was stricken with COVID came out of nowhere I was vaccinated I did everything I was supposed to do I ended up in the hospital for 10 days I was supposed to go for one day but my lungs would not recuperate as I was laying there the devil told me to write out your funeral service but instead of writing out what I wanted in my funeral God told me to write these words so many tests and trials this year. But through it all, but through it all, I'm still, still here. here. He kept me. Oh, he kept me. And then he told me to write this right here. He set me on your steady making to see this very day. But I'm alive.
Now that's a beautiful noise made unto the Lord, the infant child Jesus, whom angels adored. Though the innkeeper turned the baby's parents away, and the night he was born, they had nowhere to stay. Little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Well, Ronald McDonald House Charities knows that's not right. That's why they need all our support here tonight. So families of kids who need hospital care will always have room in their inn, a place where they can get a hot meal and a comfortable room for as long as they need it, we all can assume. These families are having a hard enough time. So Ronald McDonald House won't cost them a dime. These concerts we give are supporting the cause. So if you enjoy this, instead of applause, please share your love by donating tonight. Right here on your screen is a secure giving site. It's easy to help families not break the bank in their child's time of need, and they'll have you to thank. In 2016, we were hit in a head-on collision by a driver who fell asleep at the wheel. I was 25 weeks pregnant with Juliana here, and my husband was driving. We were medevaced to a hospital. I had a hip contusion had to have an emergency C-section, and Juliana was born 12 hours later. She weighed one pound, 11 ounces, and sustained a grade four brain bleed. It was really hard for us just not knowing how we were going to be able to stay close to our daughter for her recovery after we were released from the hospital. You never know when life tragedies or different things will knock on your door. The impact that they make when they're allowing these families to remain close and remain together while they're going through a really, really difficult time. When you have a child with special needs, having hospital visits, and with that does come surgery. So for us, it's been important to know that we can always depend on Ronald McDonald House Charities. It's the one thing that we know that we have in our corner. To know that they are helping families who are dealing with sick children is very inspiring to me. Every bit of giving that goes toward that cause is a worthy investment. Now, speaking of sending out welcomes to all, here's Stephanie Summers, who's sure to enthrall. With oh, come all ye faithful, Behold Christ the Lord. Meanwhile, please donate with all you can afford. And then as it happens, after you do, Stephanie will bless us with her song, Thank You.
thank you, thank you. I mean, lovely. Thanks, Stephanie, greatly. Now, friends, have you checked your McDonald's app lately? Each dollar spent with my McDonald's rewards gets you 100 points, then use those points towards your favorite free items for breakfast or lunch. We all have a favorite out of the bunch, like a hot McCafe, maybe a caramel latte. I think that sounds nice, but you might like it iced. Use your points how you want. They're good nationwide at all participating restaurants. Coding the future is the language I live by, building a better world. And I'm passing it on to kids like me. Look out world, we got it from here. Check out McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Mentors on Instagram at We Are Golden. If you're experiencing loss or pain during the holidays, what I would tell you is that you're not alone and that trouble doesn't last always. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And morning is coming, even though you're mourning now, it will be all right. The Bible says that he will never leave you, mm -hmm. nor will he ever forsake you. He's and lo, lo I am with you even until the ends of the earth, mm. which means literally that if there is no place you can go, mm -hmm. there's no, no, no thing you can do yeah. that he won't be there with you. I'm getting teary eyed because I've been there, but I say to be strong and stay focused and to lean on God and trust in him. I would encourage anyone to make sure your mental health is in check. Uh, there's nothing wrong with going to a counselor, talking to someone, they even have virtual and online ones that you can go to now. Uh, and I think that's the encouragement that you need. 
do that. And also remember that God is still in control. You hold on to the memories of family. As Christian people, we don't just celebrate Christ or celebrate the, the attributes of being a Christian on Christmas. It's all year long. So we have to draw on those things and just, and also pay it forward and be a blessing to others. In your pain, try to help someone else who's in pain. And you will find that consoling that person also consoles you. Because when you get a chance to encourage someone and tell them that it's gonna be all right, something on the inside of you ignites. And it's like a fire that's kind of unquenchable because now you're doing the good work that uh, we all know Christmas is all about.
Well, this has just been great. All these visitors singing, praising the Lord Jesus, the joy they've been bringing, their gifts that they're sharing like old Bathasar who gave Jesus myrrh after following that star. These great gifts of gospel inspiring so fine. I've got to confess y'all, I've lost track of time. But wait, the clock in the hall counts the chimes, baby. And if it strikes 12, then you know what that means. Twas past midnight on Christmas, the day of his birth, when lions and lambs observed peace on earth. So we bow our heads and we give thanks for our friends, for our families, our blessings, and dear God who sends us his son in a manger, our savior so dear. We thank him for getting us all through this year. Let's gather together, let's all join in song. Give voice to our praise and all sing along and sing along loud so the heavens can hear it, presenting a world premiere song, Christmas Spirit. Got the Christmas spirit. Don't forget the baby in the manger. I, I hope you did it. Yes. I know you got the Christmas spirit. Trade a few gifts with three strangers. Ooh, look at you, you did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Life is not about. Let your soul stay lit. Let the lights come off the tree, let the light be in you. When the lights come off the tree, let the light be in you. When the lights come off the tree, let the light be in you. In a time of tradition, right. this is the time of the gifted. Yeah. This is the bells and the whistles, top of the tree, top of the wish list, top yeah. of the beat. On top, and I'm gifted, top yeah. of the key, tipping my limits. Tippity top, and the top can't dim it. Got a bag, a gift, and a gimme. Young lad, and I'm glad that I'm in it. See the fam, I ain't seen in a minute. True. Man, it's been a minute. Yeah. Say you love him, but you show up if you really meant it. That's right. I've been missing it all, giving my all, trying to give it. Now I get it. When the lights come off the tree, let the light be in you. When the lights come off the tree, let the light be in you. When the lights come off the tree, let the light be in you. Merry Christmas, baby, one and all. What an awesome night, y'all. Music, praise, Christmas spirit, and holiday festivity. Let's keep it going, though, all season, all right? Post on your social media channels by using hashtag black and positively golden and tell us your favorite part of tonight's show. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at We Are Golden for updates on upcoming McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour activity and the Black and Positively Golden movement. Yo fam, looks like that storm is still going on back there. So I'm gonna need you to be careful. Please everybody, be careful. I've been your host, Lonnie Hunter, signing off from the 15th annual McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour Holiday Experience. Hope you're doing all right. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Up. Uh
And oh yes, God bless. <laughs>